Time leftist political activist who also happens to be a liberal feminist icon attorney takes on a client that shocks her lefty friends. Hi, this is Scott Ott with Bill Whittle and Stephen Green, and this is Right Angle brought to you by the members at BillWhittle.com. Gentlemen, uh, Jamie Gorelick, who was the deputy attorney general during the Clinton administration, uh, you know, the, the one, the Clinton administration that actually happened. The Bill Clinton administration, <laughs> yes, but who has a history of working in Washington, D.C. as an attorney that goes back to the Nixon administration. Well, anyway, Jamie Gorelick has recently taken on, as clients, Ivanka Trump and her husband, Jared Kushner. And uh, she has, this is not the first time for Ms. Gorelick to do something like this. During the, uh, when she was part of a law firm during the Nixon administration, she actually helped to defend the Nixon administration against attempts to force the president to reveal executive documents. She's an attorney. She takes on clients. You would think that that would be just, you know, SOP, that standard operating procedure for attorneys. But the left has gone ballistic. Let me read you uh, two little comments from other prominent lefties. Hillary Rosen, who was a Democratic strategist, good buddy with Hillary Clinton, tweeted out, Hey, Jamie Gorelick. You've just poured that complicit perfume on yourself. I don't know if you saw the Saturday Night Live spoof commercial with Scarlett Johansson, where they basically said uh, Ivanka Trump was complicit in what Donald Trump was doing. Um, this is another one from David Halpern, a speechwriter in the Clinton White House. He's saying, Gorelick is a Clinton supporter embracing a family that wanted to put Hillary Clinton in jail. People in Washington are all too willing to forgive that. So, and you could go on and on with, with more harsh things. In fact, the, uh, the Washington Post says when they contacted friends of Gorelick who were on the left and asked them about her, they said all kinds of complimentary things, and then they asked to go off the record. And then they tore her to smithereens, to use the term that the Washington Post did. They just ripped her apart. And to the Post credit, they refused to use any of the comments, either good or bad, from those people who wanted to go off the record just so that they could backstab. So... Bill Whittle, wouldn't you think that Jamie Gorelick's status as a pioneering attorney who has worked to get herself into the upper echelons of the, you know, of the legal profession in Washington, D.C., once ran the Bar Association there, wouldn't you think that that would be of such great value to people on the left that they wouldn't rip her apart when she made a judgment call about which client to take on as part of her law firm? Well, first of all, I am a potential client of hers because I am also a member of the family that she should be embracing That I, because I think Hillary Clinton should have gone to jail too. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Um, interesting, isn't it, by the way, that, 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 that this guy's attitude, they actually wanted to put her in jail. <laughs> we got her on treason. They're, they're, that's for sure. Embezzlement, certainly. Murder, possibly. All kinds of um, graft. I mean, the yes, list goes on. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, so, Scott, this is the I, 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 you know, I keep coming back to this. There is a fundamental difference between between our two sides, and it's not just a philosophical dis difference. It's an emotional difference. Politics for conservatives is some filthy business that we have to get involved with every now and then because they won't leave us alone. People like you and 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 Steve and I, we're in this business because these these swine will not leave us alone. But this is not stuff that we love to do, and we certainly don't. Well, I love doing this job, but I don't love the politics, right? So politics is everything for these people. Politics trumps everything, if you'll pardon the expression, and they. Um, I cannot tell you how many times, I mean, I, I honest, truly 30, 40 times, I've heard people saying that um, they no longer, they, they don't speak to their families, they don't speak to their best former best friends, they don't speak to anybody because the left cannot tolerate a difference of opinion. In order to, the, the short form on the dynamic is, in order for them to blow themselves up into being the incredibly moral, incredibly smart people that they think that they are, they have to be able to be better than somebody. And the people that they're better than are those knuckle-drigging, Nazi, conservative, religious, nut-job, gun-nut lunatics who, if it weren't for them and their advanced morality showing us the way that the things really should be in the world, would be out there clubbing every Islamic American to death with tire irons and God knows what else we'd be doing, probably just shooting our guns into the air and, you know, and, all, and all the rest of these shooting irons. cliches. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for shooting irons. But the, but the point of this is this 
they have to make Donald Trump into Hitler because if he's Hitler, then they're heroes. And if he's not Hitler, then they're just a bunch of whiny crybabies who lost an election and just can't get over it. Now, Steve, I want to flip the question around yeah. a little bit here because it occurs to me that some of our viewers may be watching and saying, what in the world are Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump doing hiring this woman who, when she clocks out at the end of the day or at noon, whenever attorneys clock out, <laughs> that she is actually a, a quite an active liberal activist. She's working vigorously to get the enemies of the Trump administration elected. Doesn't this just prove that Kushner and Trump and her daddy are not real conservatives in the first place, that they'll get into bed with this lefty lawyer? Well, you know, number one, you hire the best lawyer you can, and uh, the, the, she knows the system. She's been in Washington doing this kind of thing, as you said, since Richard Nixon. And and to, to flip it back around at you, uh, like there was only one time I wasn't able to get my way out of... Uh, out of a jury summons. I had to sit on the jury, and it was a child pornography case. And as soon as that thing was over, we, we, I drank myself so blind afterwards, I can't remember the guy's name or face. We convicted this guy. But his defense attorney stood up on the first day, this is this very pleasant lady, and, and said to us, I don't like my client, and I don't smart. expect you to like him either. Smart, and, smart, smart. Yeah. Yes, and then she went on to put up the best defense she could. It, it, it wasn't enough. This guy was this guy was clearly guilty. But that's what a defense attorney does. That's that's what a, a public uh, a defense attorney does. They represent that person because that person has a constitutional right to have their day in court and to have a good defense. And the same is true when you're hiring a private attorney. You hire the best person you can afford. And if they are if, if they have a different politics from you, so what? And if you're the attorney and they have different politics from you, so what? As long as you believe that the law is on their side or that you believe that they at least deserve their day in court and, and, and you deserve your, uh, your nice paycheck for, for having represented them. That said, when you, when you look at this, when you look at people saying, no, 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 we can't represent them, they don't deserve to have their day in court. What they're really doing is attacking the American system of justice. And the reason the left does that is because they despise the fact that we are a nation of laws and not men, and that might be the last offense we have against them. By the way, on that exact subject, um, the left is 100% behind having lawyers representing mass murderers, representing rapists. They're 100% behind behind uh, defense for, for child pornographers, for, for um, Roman Polanski and all the rest. But the idea that somebody would represent the daughter of a president duly elected by the American people, well, that's just simply beyond the pale. There are some things that we simply just simply cannot tolerate. Let's, you know what now let's get back. To, now let's see how many other murderers were trying to get out of jail on, on bogus uh, charges. Well, one of the great tactics that Saul Alinsky used to advocate in Rules, of Radi Rules for Radicals is that you hold up the, your opponent's own values against them, okay? Yep. So the left says it's all about civil dialogue, but when somebody reaches across the aisle to do anything, they are eviscerated by their own colleague, colleagues. The left says they're about equal justice under law, but when an attorney takes on a client because she believes in equal justice under law and she's willing to defend somebody, even somebody she disagrees with, because she believes that the law is sacrosanct, then they eviscerate their colleague. And then finally, the left says it believes in equal opportunity for all and strongly in the ideas that, you know, avowed during the 1970s about feminism, that every woman should have an opportunity to have any job she wanted, that any woman could, should be able to rise to the top of her profession. But you just try to do that, you lefty. Try to get to the top of your profession and not toe the line of the Democratic Party and see what they do to you. We've seen it here again with Jamie Gorelick. You know, I hate to come down on on her side about anything, but <laughs> leave the woman but you alone. Are. She's 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 a decent attorney trying to do her job, and her own colleagues who profess to believe in the profession of law, in civil dialogue, and in feminism have both proven, have all proven, that all they believe in is power. For Bill Whittle, Stephen Green, I'm Scott Ott. Thanks for watching Right Angle. Thanks to the members at BillWhittle.com for making it possible.